let's start with some initial analysis of some data, the descriptive statistics and statistical inference. The first step in analyzing data centers on describing the basic information of each variable. This set of information is known as a descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics can be in tabular or graphical form. A table of counts can be used to understand how many business majors, non-business majors are in a particular class. The same information can be represented by a graph in a bar chart, which later we'll call a histogram. Below is a table showing the number of points scored by four teams in two periods. So we have each team, then we have period one, period two, and we see how they each one did in period one and period two. So here, period one, team one had 25, in team one and period two had 87, team two, period one had 33, team two, period two had 25. And we can then describe what's going on between these teams. Now let's take a look at some statistical terms. When referring to a set of data, it's important to understand what the data represents. And we're gonna have two concepts here. We want to gather some inference about an overall population. When we talk about these descriptive statistics and some statistical measures, we're trying to make a generalization from the data set that we have. So it isn't possible to survey the entire population, say of the United States or of the world. So we're going to take a subset of it and try and infer something about the entire population. So we have two main concepts here. One is the population, which refers to an entire group of our analysis. For example, the entire population of the United States, or all motorcycle owners, or all voters. A sample will refer to a small subset of the population for use in analysis to infer something regarding the entire population. When we collect the data through survey, experiment, or otherwise, the data can either be based on the population or a sample. If an analyst attempts to collect data from an entire population, we kind of know this as a census. And this is what happens in the U.S. government when they do a census every 10 years. They are trying to count every single person every 10 years. But if it's not economically or logistically feasible, as we know the census is a very expensive process, then a sample set of data is targeted, and this is known as a sample survey. The purpose of collecting the sample, however, in general, is to infer something about the population. And this process is known as statistical inference we're going to infer from our sample about a population. In previous examples, doctors or medical researchers aren't able to test the medication on an entire population, but they can infer with a large enough sample how the population might be impacted by a treatment based on the results of the sample. Now, some of you might be saying, well, how big does my sample have to be? Or how can a sample refer to an entire population when there are so many variations? And those are all great questions. But we're going to show why that's the case, and we're going to show why this works in later modules.